What's going on? Move the Mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Rosewood. Let's play season 10, episode number 9. Uh, happy Friday, everybody. I got I to gotta think in my head when what days these episodes fall on. Um, sometimes I record two at once, as is the case today. I record a Wednesday's episode in the same day. Uh, it just, the schedule doesn't always work out, and it it's really stressful if I'm trying to, to crank stuff out last minute. So sometimes I'm ahead of myself in the schedule. This is one of those uh, one of those days where I got to Friday's video a little bit early um, just figured I'd knock it out at the same time really this really doesn't matter this isn't important to the build this is just uh, me babbling what's what is important to the build is that we started well we've got a lot of pollution over here that's important but it's not what we're talking about today uh, we've started the uh, the campus or our first campus it will probably be our only campus I shouldn't say it like that I'm already off to a terrific start here uh, but trade school, we, uh, we set up, uh, academic year wise, we have 292 of 500 students to get to the next level. We do have, uh, campus attractiveness. We haven't started working on research grants yet. Let's do it and engineering. What kind of budget do we have? How expensive is that going to be to guarantee, not guarantee, but really increase uh, our chance of creating successful academic works? We'll set it to 10,000. Let's do, let's see what that does to our budget. Right? That is correct. So we're not, we're not making a lot of money right now, unfortunately, but hopefully we'll be able to get up the ranks a little bit to unlock some of their buildings. I don't think in a town this size, we're going to be able to maintain the, uh, the education, but what we should look at, because we've definitely unlocked some new stuff is a, a quick review of policies. I'm not going to do education boost just yet. Uh, I think it's something that we may turn on, but I think the balance that we've got going on right now is, is working out just fine. Now over here, we've got a couple that could be really useful, especially in the context of a, of a green build. I don't think we have any industrial buildings that are polluting. And since we don't, um, and this costs per building, let's just be safe and say any that do spin up, we're going to filter waste. That's citywide policy. Now, the other thing we could do is industry 4.0, which means that all industry workplaces are for high, uh, well, and highly educated citizens. It increases output, but reduces the number of workplaces. Do we want to do that before getting a really educated population? I don't think so. So maybe we will do uh, education boost for right now. But in a little bit, when we have a, a very educated population, we'll turn on uh, industry 4.0. I think uh, build wise, let's double check something over here. How accurate our zoning is. It's a little, it's a little rough in spots. Make sure we're covering all that and all of this, since we're going to start expanding out this way also. And I think what we can do here is let's inspect in the district. Let's go to policies. Is electric car on the first one? Was it under city planning? So. Everyone living in the policy area must switch to an electric car if they own any cars. 200 credits per vehicle per week. So, do we actually see a difference in the cars that are here? I don't know. I don't think there's different models for them. Could be mistaken, though. But that could tank our budget quite, quite a bit. But I think it's something that we eat up front. Let me just double check this before we go bankrupt. Should just d double check this. You look at something like filter industrial waste. It's cost per building per week. If you look at electric car policy. Oh, it is. It's cost per vehicle per week. 
So can we afford electric cars and pushing academic works at the same time? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think we can. Okay, I take it back. I'm going to come back to this one because that is really putting the hurting on our budget and we're not going to be able to grow if we're not making any money. So let's turn off the electric car, po electric car policy. And hopefully our money goes back up now. Let's see. Yeesh. It is climbing back towards zero, which is good. Maybe not. No, it's not. I'm pretty sure we're going to take our chances on... Uh... Yeah, okay. How's that do for our budget? <laughs> Completely negating all the things I put in place so far in this episode. <coughs> Man, have I not watered over here yet? That is... Some bad mirroring. We had some buildings abandoned because of it. Eesh. So what are these? Not enough... Not enough goods to sell? Not enough customers. This is not enough educated workers. We're working on that. And same thing there, not enough educated workers, not enough customers, not enough resources, and too much garbage. Just complain about everything. This is a f five star now. How did I miss that? Okay, we got a five star farm. Now we can start expanding and really planning this one out. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get to that today. Um, we'll see what happens here campus-wise. We're we're getting there on students. Let's Let's move some more people in. Let's stop messing around here. So this road that kind of comes straight off of what's called Belmont here. That's going to carry the bulk of our traffic through this zone. So let's freeform. Come up kind of straight. And then maybe come all the way down to the edge of the zone. And maybe this could kind of follow again along the edge. Maybe through here like this. How's that connect? I can deal with that. And then we'll do a couple coming up through here. Just so people don't have to go all the way through the, the really long streets. So there's some ways to cut through. And we'll do the same thing down here. We'll do something like that. And let's zone up all that. I definitely messed up there. Uh, I messed up. I messed up there. Nope. Un nope. I've been playing too much Switch. They reversed the, uh, the forward and backwards button. The confirm and cancel. PlayStation and Xbox do it one way. Switch does it another way. It's got to be difficult. We did not want houses up here. That was an accidental zoning. So let's come in here with, I guess, the fill. Oh, that works too. Medium brush. We'll do that. And that should give us a decent amount of population. We could still build up here, although I know some people were thinking maybe nature uh, reserve preserve. Uh, up there on the hill, that could be kind of cool. But there's some other spots where we can tuck that in also where it might be nice. In fact, I think a really underutilized tile is going to be this one in the top right. Uh, so it might be might be cool to kind of 
put it up there. I think there were some ideas tossed around about that one. Double check our water coverage. Four people move out. Oh, that's, that's a lot of overlap, isn't it? Again, just in case we come up this way, I don't think we will. But that has everything covered. That, I was going to say, is problematic, but they're already there. I don't know how our fire coverage is in these neighborhoods. It's definitely a little lax up there at the top. We should consider maybe... Oh, we've got one there. I, mean, I guess it's okay. We did unlock the... Um, the watchtowers now. These are dependent on the height that they're sitting on. So if you have something in the valley down here, it won't be able to see any of the trees up on top of the hill. We'll spread some of these out so that hopefully the uh, the helicopter service comes out right away should there be any, any fires. I actually put this pocket of trees there, but we can still defend it. Um... Now let's do that. They should spot the fires right away and be able to head out and get them all taken care of. 9,000 population. What is our next milestone? 11,000 gets us our last level of uniques. Uh, three really cool policies, small business, big business, and industrial space planning, as well as high-tech housing and high-rise vans. We're going to use all of those. All five of those are getting turned on the second we unlock them. Uh, we also unlock monorail roads, cable cars, the train station. So uh, we can't hook that train station in just yet. But we can certainly have a lot of fun with all those different options. Let's do this. Why don't we take a look um, at industry? We'll see at the end what people are complaining about. Not enough educated workers. Again, we're potentially causing that problem. We're, we are causing that problem because we're telling... Uh, workers don't go out to the workforce, go out to higher education. So, when I say not enough educated workers, well educated, educated, uneducated. So, it is the. It is the, uh, the only underserviced portion. They need more highly educated people. So, university is going to hopefully help take care of that. And we will keep an eye on university as we go. There we go. So it's just academic works to get us to that next level and unlock some new buildings. Hopefully we can get there. That's Greenwood's looking good. Our commercial sector. Do I need to zone more over here? I do. Okay. So let's get this top block in. We'll, we'll work our way down towards the shore. We'll just do those two for now. I think I think just doing that will meet our zoning requirements. Doing pretty good there, pretty flat demand. We're making money, and I think what I'll have to do is uh, is idle for a bit before we do the next episode. Because it just gets to the point where, you know, we're spending all the money that we have in the bank in a matter of minutes. Um, stuff gets really expensive as we start to, to get up here. You know, dropping in something like the train station, which we don't have unlocked yet. I, I wanna say it's like, you know, it's 50,000 bucks. Uh, you run a bunch of trains and tunnels and all sorts of stuff, and that money gets gets eaten into very, very fast. So um, I will definitely do some idling to try and get the money up for a while. Um, in fact, why don't I do that right now? Let's do a, a quick little uh, a quick little money making scheme. I'll uh, I'll leave this in the bottom of the screen. I'll do a little time lapse. I will be right back with a little bit more money in the bank, and we can start to plan out uh, what we do with 
uh, Valley Orchard, including the name. Probably want to change that. That's the default name that was given to it. But Valley Orchard is our, uh, what is it? Farming? So we're doing crops. We're doing fruit and, uh, and animal products and producing those into goods. Now that we've got level five, uh, I want to start moving stuff around. Uh, it's working. It's doing its thing. So we don't necessarily want to change the, the dynamic of anything in here just yet, but we will start looking at how we can reorganize it uh, in just a minute. So hang on, sit tight, be right back with a lot more money in the bank account. All right, so we've got about $200,000 in the bank. I think we can start to uh, expand down here. So this is already connecting off of this roundabout, this, this main road here. So I think let's do that. Although it's not really in the zone, is it? The, the farm zone is over here. So maybe that isn't the best spot. Maybe we build it off this, uh, this road I kind of planned on. Let's upgrade this segment to a uh, regular, regular road. And we'll connect it into that node right there. That's fine. And let's go check out our farm area. Yeah, we want to we want to expand this quite a bit. We want to at least cover where we're going to be moving stuff to right now, which is to start to fill out some bigger plots along this land. Now we could move the ones that we already have because they're smaller and they sit kind of right on the edge of that zone. If we go into farming now over here, we've got all the buildings unlocked. So we've got large crop fields. So let's start producing a lot more. So there's two large crop fields. Let's do two large uh, fruit fields. Do we go across the street? Is that is that yellow enough? I don't know. Uh, these are defaulting to the greenhouse style. We can change that. I, I'm, I am a fan though. I think that that does kind of have a nice look if we had a little greenhouse section there. Um, and now we can build roads right up to the edge of it. I'm gonna delete this segment and come out to even with that one. So we can get roads right up on there. Now it's important to remember the blue arrows are where trucks are turning in. Academic works too. Reputation is recognized from unrecognized. Calf, fountain, gym, study. Oh, there was a toga party. We missed it. We'll catch one of those eventually. Um, I mean, we've, we've seen them in action. Just some people running around the campus. Uh, we've added four buildings there for producing uh, crops, those in turn get sent to the bakery or flour to get processed further uh, while we're here. We'll expand our water grid just a little bit. Come on, 460 will work. But I like 440. So they're happy with water now. That's good. And we may as well get this connected just to cover that little patch right there. A tiny little spot. That's going to be fine. I think highway-wise, we want to bring it into this intersection right there. So let's do a highway exit real quick.
we could do that. And jump over to highways. I'm doing three lane here. Because that what that does is that tells two lanes you can turn into two lanes. And the outer lane is reserved for U-turning, which people are going to do anyways, so... I'm going to go to snapping options. I'm going to... We're all the way up. And let's go to the straight tool and let's do some roads and then upgrade them after the fact. So I'm going to start here to make sure it stays lined up. We'll go right up to the highway to just over the highway. That could work. Uh, now that we're over the highway, though, I'm going to go down to one tick on the elevation step. And what I'm going to do here, uh, we won't come out as far on this side. We'll come out further on the other side because it's going to wrap around. So let's do the curved tool. Uh, where is it? Here. Because it lets us be a little bit more precise about our curve. So we can come out right there. That's five ticks. And we'll do the same thing over here. Again, come out five. Before we come down. So we could do something like that. It's a little, it's a little tight. If we gave ourselves a little bit more room, we could do a little bit better. But here, let's come out to, you know, about nine before we come down one. Come out nine. Come down another one. Come down yet another one before we hook it back in down here somewhere. If it'll let us. Might need to come out a little bit more. Okay, fix it later. Let's get it hooked up. We can always clean this up later. Uh, so that is one side of the highway. Go back to our straight tool. We'll come out about 10 units before we drop. And another 10 before we drop. It's a little abrupt at the end. We'll, we'll smooth that out. But if you want your slopes to be even, sometimes it makes more sense to use regular roads. We'll delete this last segment. Just to smooth that out a little bit. And then from here even, we could kind of run parallel to the highway. The direction is determined based on the way that you drew the road. So even if you weren't drawing one-way roads, the game remembers which way it was created, and that's the way it's going to turn the uh, the one-way paths. It's a little sloppy down here at the end. So that's getting off the highway. Getting off the highway. And then the other two are our entrances. So 
here we want traffic coming out that way. And let's upgrade these to three lane. So that should be good. Let's hit play on that. Three times speed. We'll see uh, how soon trucks start using that. They're going to dump down into here. It's going to be a little busy. And this is not, you know, an intersection is not the most efficient thing like this that isn't a roundabout, doesn't have some sort of continuous flow. But ultimately, in a pretty small town, I don't think it's going to matter that much. What can we do for animal pastures now? Do we have a larger... Yeah, we have a large animal pasture. There is not a medium animal pasture like there is for the other two. So how many can we get in here? Just two? Kind of close on three. Maybe we'll do one like that. And then processing wise, we've got a flour mill which takes crops and outputs flour. We need that for the bakery. Cattle sheds, just like the animal pastures, input crops to feed the animals, and then there's an output of animal products. Uh, all these have, or most of these have some sort of pollution, so don't don't waste your uh, your zonable farm space on buildings that are going to pollute. Uh, large barn, we could do some storage and things like that. Yes, we could. As far as factories, though, this one requires glass. So that we would need an ore industry for, which does pollute quite a bit. And this needs plastic, which is an oil uh, industry thing. Now, what I think we could do, and, and let's double check this, is if we go to warehouses and say, let's just sit a small warehouse down here somewhere. Can we then go in and say that the resource is plastics? And then have it fill? I, th I think that works. So we can bring in goods that we don't make on map and import those to then turn those and process those into things. So uh, let's start with let's start with glass. Cannot be imported, has to be produced locally, can be exported for money. Okay, so never mind. I take it back. We're not gonna do that. Um, so we'll get by with just what we can on farming and forestry. And if it if it's a factory that requires other things, that's not what our town is about. We're going to try and pollute a little less. But what I think we can start to do is um, we, we want to minimize this, right? You have all these trucks entering and turning on this road that is also being used for getting into that zone now. So how much money do we have? Quarter million? <laughs> Let's rotate these. So now the trucks for these businesses are entering and exiting on this road, which is not used quite as much as a cut through. So we're just turning those around 180. And that's going to relieve some of the traffic over here because, again, some of the people that are coming in this way are going down here to go over to our already established farmland. They might be going, you know, over here also. But that takes all the traffic turning in and out off of that main street. So that, that should help us a little bit. Uh, backing up back there. There isn't even a turn this way right now. So let's do this. If we go into intersections and turn that off, we could just stop the traffic coming that way. Very few people coming this way are going to be turning left. And the people coming in here are going to go either straight or left. So... It looks like that's appropriate for the traffic flow. Take a quick look while we got this tool out at our main street. We do have traffic lights at the highway entrance, or exit, I should say, not at the entrance. And everywhere else, there's stop signs along the street. Now, that is more of a commercial district, so maybe that one stays a traffic light. We'll have to keep an eye on that. But I think that will do the trick. Let's call it quits for today, though. Um, after the time lapse, it may 
beyond the shorter side or I, I'm trying to go anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes with these to keep them again relatively bite size um, I think we're making some good progress Greenwood is really well filled out and, and we've got this tile we own this tile over here so we could start to think about kind of filling that in with trees right it gives it more of that separation about why the neighborhood stops there uh, we've definitely got some ways we can fill in up here but again we can fill this area in between the main road and the gated community with trees just for again some of that separation uh, we're gonna run this highway this is a two-lane highway from mass transit we'll run this up here maybe have one more little you know entrance into the area before this is either going to wrap around a real long switch back around this mountain or maybe we tunnel it through but we want to give people uh, another option so we've got that one highway exit Got another one over here. And again, this is a little it's a little it's a little sloppy, but it works. And in general, I think this, you know, more of a trumpet style interchange just looks better than the the uh, the three decker. Because yeah, that is a really abrupt height change there. If we stay with the three decker, we could bring the entrance back all the way back here and potentially make that at least a little bit smoother. But by not having to cross over each other and just having a two-tier system here uh, this ends up just looking a little smaller and I think feeling more the part than the uh, the traditional three-way intersection that's built into the game unfortunately that one is off map I think if we uh, buy the tiles it is so we're not gonna be able to change that one unfortunately but hopefully it won't be too bad you know off in the distance behind the views of our city um, hopefully we'll manage oh before I forget Let's do this real quick. So academic works tab. Let's give another grant for, let's say hospitality this time. And let's come into campus and drop in those buildings that we just unlocked. So where were we? We had the book club. We don't have an outdoor study hall yet. I think we'll put that there. This is all connected without power lines now, so we're good on those. So outdoor study hall is in. I mean, technically it's out, but it's in the map. Um, the gymnasium. Where can we cram the gym? Okay, that'll still let us get a road back there, I think. And then back over here, we've got the calf and the fountain. So if you live over here and study over there and over there, where would the calf go? Now I think this one actually Maybe what we'll do is we'll we'll end up curving this around a little bit and bringing this up so that we have room to put like the trade fountain kind of right there in front of the the main administration building. I think that would make sense. For right now, we'll put it right there. But when we move these out of here, then we'll have a little bit more room to play with. Still not sure where I'm going to put those. I think this, this is just going to be a temporary move because ultimately we want to come over here into the bottom of the lake and just pour clean water that's been processed back into the lake. It would be fine with me. <laughs> I won't complain. Who is complaining though about water over here? That would be the fountain. Problems wise, 
you know, we've got some issues popping up. Uh, most of it is worker related, but we're shifting the dynamic of our workforce around quite a bit by forcing people to go get higher ed, helping our college level up in the meantime. Uh, schools wise, education, everybody over here is very well educated. Some of these people are not, but they do have access. It looks like to plenty of elementary schools. Let's see how, how at capacity this one is. It isn't. So hopefully that's just people that just moved in, had kids that are too young for school still. And uh, and again, most of the problems it looks like are stemming from, well, in some cases, not enough uh, customers. But I think we're seeing more of the not enough educated workers. And, uh, and yeah, that'll sort itself out. We'll make this kind of one giant farm or a large giant farm over here with much more of these larger plots and we'll see what we can cram in there and maybe we do the occasional you know farming zoned industry uh, mixed in here or there may not be a bad thing but we'll start moving all this shifting it down a bit building a lot more of it off of this bottom grid in fact maybe we do that maybe we cut this part of the grid off right there and then we can start to do more of a, a grid that is perpendicular to, to that road. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll figure out something that works. That is uh, that's a that's the wrong button. That is uh, future mouse's problem. I hope uh, you're enjoying the build so far. It's different. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to take this one down kind of a different path, just in the overall scope of the city being much smaller, and uh, and I think it's working out pretty good so far. Because uh, just because somebody is wondering, hold on a second. Where's our traffic at? People always ask. We are at 92%. And yes, this uh, is very heavy over here. And pretty heavy where people are coming to turn around, where the trams are coming in and out of. Major intersections like this for our uh, commercial sector, both the local and organic produce, and this new sector that we built back up. Uh, we are so close. 11,000 is the next milestone. So in the next milestone, we have some really cool policies uh, that will turn on three times speed. Let's do three times speed. Cinematic camera. So yeah, lots of fun stuff to do. Uh, plenty of great ideas from the city council meeting. Uh, again, you can contribute ideas completely for free. Hop on over in the discord. There is a Rosewood season 10 room and we look there to, to kind of see what people are suggesting. Let me know in the comments down below, but it's a lot easier sometimes when there's multiple people looking at it on the discord side of things. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you're enjoying. If you are, likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell to get notifications. Join the Discord if you've got questions. Awesome group of people over there. And if you'd like to support the channel, and one of those benefits is becoming part of the city council that gets a you know a preview look and gets to vote and decide on what things are happening in the city. Uh, if you'd like to support, check out the link in the description down below for either doing it through YouTube or through Patreon. But with all that out of the way, Next update uh, on Monday is going to be a really fun one because, again, we unlock some really cool policies for our city that's going to allow us to really shape and change things, and, uh, and I'm excited for that. So be sure and tune in. New videos Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Until the next one, though, this is Move the Mouse signing off.